Hello, this is Julian Smith at Hamble Marine Surveys. This is the second in a series of videos that I'll be taking um, on items I picked up during surveys. I thought this particular vessel would uh, be of use and, and of interest to those watching the video. This is a 2006 French built modern yacht. Um, and this particular vessel unfortunately hit rocks and I thought it would be useful for those who own this type of vessel to see what the likely effect on the hull is following a serious collision event. This particular vessel was sailing at approximately seven to eight knots and it hit rocks resulting in the boat stopping dead. Aside from the damage to the hull and the inner moulding which I'll show you in a moment what that looks like Obviously the rig sustained damage as well and some of the furniture about the vessel also sustained damage. If we have a look at the, the actual hull structure on a modern day built yacht, you can see here that there are large bays um, which create box sections around the keel area. These box sections are manufactured and moulded separate to the hull. So the hull of the yacht is first moulded and then a second or what we call an inner moulding is then moulded separately and the two then are joined together. On this particular vessel you can see the damage that has been sustained to the inner mould and where it has been bonded to the actual hull. So this area here is the actual hull surface and this area here is this inner moulding. And then at this point here, the inner moulding has been cut out and laminated. And you can see following the collision, the actual lamination here has all cracked. This area here is the sump, um, which is moulded into the hull and where your bilge pump sits. And again, you can see all the way round the perimeter of that sump, it's cracked. These areas here, these are the actual holes that were drilled at the time of manufacture to take the keel bolts and again forward some more keel bolt holes. It's difficult to see but possibly you can see actually within the keel bolt hole you can see where the hull has delaminated so the various layers of the laminate have actually separated. And once again to the side here, again you can see where the inner moulding and the laminate that bonds this inner, inner, inner moulding to the hull has cracked. What is interesting on this vessel, which is probably a reflection on the velocity of the collision, collision event, is that even the side bays have also cracked and here as well. And also on this side as well. This particular vessel is a 42 foot sailing yacht and the forces involved would have been significant to have caused this amount of damage. This area here is the galley and just to the port side is the navigation area. And then between the two is a further bay. And this particular bay has sustained really quite serious damage. You can see here where the laminate again has split away as it transpires. This has been previously repaired, this area, but you can see where the laminate has split away. And also on the other side also, you can see here the damage that's been sustained. I just thought this video would be useful just to illustrate the levels of damage that can be caused by a grounding event. And in this particular case, this vessel will be repaired and it is repairable. And once it has been repaired, it's likely to be stronger, certainly in this area of the vessel, than it was prior to the collision.